What's up, guys? Only Zoom Blade. Sun and Chill commentary. Of course, I only give these to you when I think they're good videos or when they're chill. And I'm gonna have a little chill little session going on. Man, um, I, I, I was starting to do the commentary and I was like, nah, 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 not nah, quite chill enough. And it's Breaking Bad, the new Sunday schedule. For some reason, they seem to show really good shows on Sunday. For me, right now, it's Breaking Bad and Newsroom. Newsroom is exceptional. It really is a good show. But when I watch it, I feel like those dudes are too smart. Like, shut up. Like, can you... I feel like the, the talking that they do in that show, they can do it a lot. They can spread it out, smooth it out a little bit. Or if they did the same amount of talking or same amount of what they said. It's everything so quick. It's just like, don't they ever take a moment to be like, whoa, wait, what? What? Huh? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my... My laid back dumbness, but whatever. Um, a lot of people always go, they're like, you know, don't ever change, bro. And I'm just like, normally I, I get that. I, I I understand that. Like I understand the that we like the character you know, I've always talked about the characters in our life. We like the characters in our life to be I don't want to say predictable, but I, I like the fact that I don't need to kind of decipher or figure out where they're coming from or what what's on their mind or, or whatever I don't I feel like I don't need to process like the people in my life I tend to make it so that I don't have to process them does that make sense you know what I mean like I don't need to go what's really going on with you bro like I don't really have I don't feel like I have the need to to do that but at the same time like um life everyone's life is is a book you know what I mean like uh, if you watch like old like MTV music channel or whatever, and you see like these soul singers, you see a dude and he might be thirty back in like nineteen eighty jamming out on a guitar, and that's just where he was at that juncture in his life. You know what I mean? Like things that you're discovering, people discover that shit eighty years ago. So we're all at different points in our life, and I think that as we you know, as the director or as the cast of people that we have in our life, we, you know, the the problem is, is we need to realize that some people are at different different parts of the book. You know what I mean? And you know that elitist attitude where you get where if you're reading a book at the same or someone's saying, Hey, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get into this show or I'm gonna get into this book and you're and you've already read them, you're like, Okay, yeah, I went down that road. You're gonna enjoy it too, but just know that I've I already know that. And somehow we feel better like if you've watched an entire show like let's say like i've you know i've seen the movie scarface a 100 200 times you know what i mean i love that movie i love that movie not for the gangster part of it but i just love that movie for a lot of other reasons brian de palma is my favorite director but i've seen the movie you know and then someone might not have seen the movie yet and i just feel like okay it's time for you to kind of go it's time for you to kind of go there you know what i mean and it's interesting because what we're really doing is we're comparing trips that we've taken, you know, and that's more sizing people up for do they have a proper perspective on it. I think like when you, when you go to like uh, when you go to, to shindigs or parties or, or, or weddings or whatever, a lot of times what you're doing is you're showing off your your thoughts or your perspective or your travels, your insight on things. And I find that what happens is that a lot of people want to be in their comfort zone to to make sure that the people that they're around have similar experiences. Because you, you kind of want someone that's kind of on your same level. And I totally get that. But I'm wondering, like, let's say in like a, you know, I've seen people, like I've gotten really drunk. And then people are just like, Riz, you're fucking awesome. Like, don't ever change. Like I said before. But I'm also thinking, like, is that... I, and this isn't probably what they're what they're getting at, but I'm saying like one out of ten people they actually get this subconsciously. And it's like, is that you wanting me to be how I am right now? Because you're at this part of your life right now, and you feel that me would be would make for an awesome character in this part. Like, are you do you really want to be my friend, or do you see me as this amazing? you know, character in your story. See what I'm saying? Like, do we, do we cast people as amazing characters in our story or do we actually cast them as actual real friends? And do the people that say don't ever change, does that, is that them saying, Hey, I'm not growing 
and I want you to not grow with me so I can have someone to not grow with, you know, like I, I've kind of gone through that because like I'm, I've, I've talked about this Peter Pan syndrome and me not wanting to grow up and not wanting to like, which is a scary thing. Cause like I want to evolve, but I don't feel like I have the tools in order to grow up quite yet. Or I do have the tools, but I just don't want to use them kind of thing. And I see that some people are comfortable with that. And some people want you to kind of stay at that level because it's easy. It's someone that you can always go to. I've seen it with a lot of my friends. Like a lot of my friends are getting, you know, they're getting married and having kids, you know. And for 10% of the time, they kind of look at me, kind of look at my lifestyle. And they're just like, damn, Riz, like I really wish I could have that. But that's one of those things where if you get like a, you kind of see like the positive things that, you know, of me being a single dude or whatever. But then I'm trying to aspire to be them in a way, you know what I mean? Like I would love to have, I would love to have like a wife and kids and to be able to like support them and be able to like raise You know, it's kind of it's kind of a selfish thing. Like I said this before, like with people having kids, people having children is probably the most selfish thing you could possibly do. Like you think that you're so amazing that you want another one of you. You know, you want so that that there's that, but also at the same time, it's it's one of those things where it's like, well, you don't really get to dictate that part of it. Like we can go out, we can have fun, we can fucking you know, there like the relationship or the 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 camaraderie or whatever between me as a cast character that's cool but like i'm never gonna be you know your kid see what i'm saying i'm never gonna be a family member and that's one of the one of the weird parts is like you know with friends if they do enough stupid shit we're just like you know what we don't i don't even want you as a friend anymore because like I, i wanted you as a friend at that point because that's the point when i was starting to evolve and then once it start to evolve i evolve away from you so you know don't ever change but is that don't ever change, like don't evolve because the, you know, the position in my life is where I would like you at as a selfish person or it's don't ever change as far as being truthful for yourself. I've been uh, looking up like the stuff about Machiavelli where he, you know, Tupac obviously kind of made it, you know, brought it back into the foresight or whatever. But basically the main part of Machiavelli was that he faked his own death I'm not faking my own death, don't worry. <laughs> and he, uh, to escape his foes. And it's like, what makes a person say, you know what, I'm going to stop what I'm doing right now because I'm be doing me for so long, but something needs to change, and I'm just going to do a complete change. It's kind of like, do I want to fix the car, or do I want to or do I want to just say, fuck it, and get a new car? You know? Kind of thing, like, do, do I evolve? Like, you know, obviously we, we want to constantly evolve. Someone asked me about tattoos. Um, they're like, Riz, when are you going to get more tattoos? And I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just personally not into tattoos. The reason why is because like, I'm constantly evolving. And so why would I put something on me that could possibly change in five years? You know what I mean? Like I have a completely different outlook or different anything about that. And I want that. I got tattoos on my arm, uh, that say Italian pride and I want to get them removed. It's shit work. And it's just like, why do I need a tattoo? something that says I'm Italian. I know I'm fucking Italian, you know? Like whatever. So do we evolve or do like would I rather just slowly sink or would I rather power through it and swim away from the shipwreck? It's kind of the place I'm at right now. Um and I think that evolving is is harder but it's the thing that kind of needs to happen so even though I'm always going to be me the core of me I think other things in me have to change and there's going to be some people who say fuck you I remember the old you but it's like no it's still me it's just me evolving so only you blade that is your Sunday chill commentary hope you guys enjoyed it peace